Welcome everyone to another video of the zombie FPS tutorial. So in this tutorial we'll see how to manage weapons. Uh, we'll see how we'll make the weapon animator controllers and we'll put we'll also see all of the weapon animations that are available to us. If you recall we got the weapons from a unity package that I made. So I'll just show you everything that was included in that package also. So, so in the last video we saw the zombie movement the unity nav mesh and the animator controller for zombie so let's start today's video so we have a zombie with a box collider on it now let's start by making its copies so first of all i am going to create an empty game object and you can see that its position is not zero so let's just reset its position and I'm going to call it zombies and also I'm going to make a tag for our zombie so you can come to the tag section and then add tag and you can click on a new tag and call it zombie you can go ahead and save it and then you can come to the zombie and you can assign that tag to it nice now you can make the zombie a child of zombies you can save it and now I'll just come over here press on W to get the move tool and then I'll do control C and control V and I'll shift it a little bit like this and then I'll make one more copy and I'll bring it over here so they are like in a group so let's open this up save it up and now you can see that we have three zombies so I want you to go to the second zombie and just to create a little bit more of randomness uh, what we'll do is first of all we don't need this zombie attack now just delete it and what I'll do is I'll just make a copy of this animator controller so you can't just see TRLC and V for this you have to go ahead right click on it and show in Explorer and you can press Control C and Control V and you can name this zombie 2 and you can name the first one zombie 1 and the metadata file you should just delete it so that it forms on its own when we come back to unity okay so in the zombie 2 you should go ahead in zombie 2 and open the animator and assign the zombie 2 to this one and because we changed the name so we'll have to assign zombie 1 again and you should assign that to 1 and 3 okay so now that we have it go to animator and on zombie 1 you can see that in the death we have the death 1 animation and on the zombie 2 you can go and make the death one to death two so what will happen is that uh, these two will have a different animation and this one will have a different animation when they die so it would be like a little bit of randomness and more believable so save this come to scripts so this was the animator controller for the zombies now we can also make a animator controller for our pistol and also one for our m10 gun so right click then create and then animator controller and you can call it pistol okay now you can uh, okay first of all let's make more copies of the zombie now so just control C and V 
and I'm going to place them on different locations in the map like here I'm going to place some over here and I'm going to place some over here and we'll have some over here okay and let's just put some over here also so all in all now we have 18 zombies uh, we'll just have to set the heights now go like this select the three bring them up to the ground to the ground okay come to the next ones and this I'm doing by pressing Q so alternating between Q and W bring them up move them a bit backwards I'm gonna save this then I'll come to zombie 12 select all three press W bring them up go to the next zombies and make sure to put them in places where you can navigate to okay next three zombies okay and these three zombies I'm going to put a little bit over here so that you can see how the unity UI works so I'll play the video you can see that because they are not within a distance of 15 so they are just standing there playing the idle animation and I'll come to the player and I'll move him over here and you can see that they are all coming here and they have started attacking okay now let's pause this save this up so our zombies are also ready there you go now let's come to the pistol and start creating the animator so open up the player go to pistol and you can see that we have the animator which I included in the custom package so when you download that you will already have this uh, for now I'm just going to put this one and I'm going to press on it and come to the animator and you can see that it is completely empty right now and we are going to add some states to it so first of all we are going to right click create state and we need a blend tree to have the idle and walk animations so double click on it go to the blend tree and the parameter here is going to be again velocity okay and you can go ahead and add motion field yeah two would be enough and first we are going to search for pistol and it is going to be 
crystal idle 0 1 and then we are going to have crystal walk there you go and if you want to see these animations you can go to the animation and you can just play it and see so this is the idle just barely moving and then this is pistol walk so there you go this will play when we'll walk these are the two let's get out of here and then we are going to need a whole bunch of states so first it's going to be an empty we are going to call this reload and search for pistol and you can find the reload okay there you go you can play it once and see and you will notice that the reload one is not a read only animation and we can edit some things in this also so let's play this so this is the reload animation and what you can see in the reload is that we have this thing which is called an event so event is something that you can uh, put up in any uh, animation clip which is not a read only clip and you can give functions to it so i'll show you how we will give these functions right now you can just leave it like this and you can see the animation of the gun reloading okay let's come back to animator and let's add boolean and this is going to be reloading is reloading and one more we are going to have a boolean which is is shooting so for reload we'll make a transition make a transition from reload also we'll make a transition and this will be we'll have to add condition which is is reloading so if it is reloading is true then uh, transition to reload and if reloading is false then you can come back to blend tree okay now go and create an empty animation state and we'll call this lower and you can search for pistol and you can come to pistol lower and go ahead and create one more state and this is going to be a raise and pistol raise save it now just make a transition to blend tree and right now we are not going to give any parameters to it and you will see in a moment why so now we are coming to layer and then we'll add one more layer and this layer we'll call light stop and we'll create a state empty and this state we are going to call slide stop and the motion is going to be pistol slide stop so let us see the animations that are already in pistol now so we have reload and the lower is this animation which will take the gun down 
and the raise is this animation which will bring the gun up again and slide stop is this one okay so we have all of these now uh, the one which is left is we'll have to come back to the base layer go to parameters and then right click and create substate machine and this is going to be called shoot okay so double click on this so this is where we can transition it to the base layer so go ahead and create state empty and this state is going to be shoot and the motion is going to be uh, pistol and shoot okay and then we are going to make a transition back to blend tree of our base layer okay there you go save this up return to base layer and there you have it so let's see the shooting animation once also so this is the shooting animation okay nice come back to animator okay so we aren't really using the shooting so you can delete that one also all we need is velocity and reloading and then come to project and we'll also have one more animator controller which is going to be for the m10 so come to m10 and assign this one to it and you can come to animator now uh -huh. okay and basically we are just going to create all of the same things so one more additional thing that you can do is that instead of having a new one you can just copy and paste the old one like i showed you before and just copy and paste it call it m10.controller m10 and you can open it and then just come to raise in the search you can uh, keep m10 and this is the raise one so m10 raise in the reload you can do m10 reload in the lower you can keep m10 lower and shoot uh, double click it and in the shooting you can come to m10 shoot auto go back to the base layer open the blend tree and pistol idle one you can have m10 idle m10 walk save it come back to the base layer oh. Come to layers, open slide stop, and in slide stop, uh, just press it once. You can go M10 and slide stop is same as uncocked. Return to base layer, and I think that the shooting would be 
a little better with semi auto so let's come to animations press on m10 and here you can select the m10 and you can deactivate the pistol for now and activate the m10 and you can see the different animations this is the idle one let's see reload okay shoot semi-auto okay m10 uncocked which is this m10 walk okay so we have all of the m10 animations also now so that is pretty much the setup only one thing is left in that you have to come to slide stop and then you have to select the avatar mask and the first is m10 no ammo and in the animator of pistol you can come and you can also do this mask to pistol slide and you can come to fps weapons fbx m10 and m10 no ammo you can open it you can also create this by just going to create and then avatar mask and you can just name it something and you can see that by default everything is just selected so you can just make it like this and in the m10 and pistol you can see that we also have avatar so this you can see that we have in our fbx itself which we make and if you open it then you can see that here it is so you just have to select both of those also and those are basically what these use to get all of these things and these are nothing uh, but just part of the things that is making up our character like the arms which you see here there the deformed brick which just has all the bones and all in it and the material of the gun and then one more part of this is uh, the muzzle flash which is like the particle effect which is played you can see it in the game view so those are just childs of the same 10 these three are default childs and this we have added separately so close this up we don't want M10 we want pistol okay I just shifted the camera upwards and there we go we have pistol and we have M10 so let's now close up layer and we have made all of the animation controllers that we needed for this game okay just gonna rename it to m10 let's see if we have lost it okay no we still have it fine there you go just save this up and let's see we have all of our zombies in places okay everything is fine yeah 
okay just save this up in this tutorial we saw how to control weapons we also saw the animator controllers and all of the weapon animations so let's see what we have in next video so next video will be more script based we will see two scripts one for switching the weapons and the other one for scripting the weapon which will include how we reload the weapon how we fire using the weapon how much ammo does the weapon have and all those stuff so thank you for watching this video we'll see you in the next video